Welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta, my name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at Ethereum. Before we jump into the price section, I just want to say thank you for watching. If you are enjoying the content, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description you'll find a link to Discord, come check it out, it's free to join. Okay, so what we're looking for here is still a, pretty much the same options we were talking about in the previous video. Uh, I haven't written off the idea of coming down here in a five wave structure for a flat yet. Um, it is possible that this will become less likely, but uh, if we do actually start to break down now in five wave structure, this could be a viable um, option. <clears throat> what I'm looking for here is the potential that within this, we fail to move back above this high of this 1841, and we could actually look to start to break down. And the way I'd be looking for is the 1639 as a confirmation. If we start to lose the support of this um, trend line, potentially we could actually look for the sell off down to the beginning of this move, which could set us up for that uh, that potential of looking at this as a uh, basically as a five wave structure. So if this is the case, you know, then this would be still a viable option. And uh, the 1630 to this 1570 would be a typical zone we'd look to actually move into. If we do move down lower, this fourth wave sitting here currently at this 1564, um, and then potentially this channel that we, uh, we have interacted with many times is still sitting down here at this uh, 1538. So keep an eye on those levels if we do break down here. So within this, what we're looking for is that potential to actually see a bigger move to the upside in a five wave structure. This becomes a one, two, and then basically looking for a three, four, and a five. So confirmation, uh, depending on how deep we come here, would only would only be ready towards this 2354 area. So until we actually get a substantial move up here, we'd have to be a little bit cautious. There is potential within this wave, and we're going to go over it, that we could see this as a 1, 2, and a 1, 2. So we're going to go over that now. But um, really, until we actually break back above this B wave high that I've got marked out here at this 18.42, I am being cautious of the fact that we could look to break down, because there's a number of ways of counting this um, that we could also potentially argue that within here we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, this is a fifth wave, and then we're actually going to come back down in a three wave move for a bigger retracement into this zone rather of this 1560 to this 1447. So, if, as long as we remain above these zones, you know, potentially uh, we could still look for that continuation to the upside. Uh, however, if we start to break down and we actually lose this 1447, it becomes less likely that this is um, the actual this is the correct structure that we are following here. So, we'll have to keep an eye on that. For as long as we remain above um, above the 1611 area, what I'm looking for is the potential to actually come down and find support um, in the zone of the 1743 to the 1655. So technically speaking, we have moved into this. And, you know, we can argue that uh, potentially from here we have this just as an ABC move. And then that's completed and we could look to move away. So if we moved up to that one to one, that would be this 1972. Um, if we did look for a bigger impulsive move, this 1618 would be our potential target at this 2134. So that's what we'd be looking for is another five wave structure to the upside here, looking to continue this up. If this does move higher towards this 24, uh, 2465, basically what we could then be looking at is this, um, this whole move from down here being a bigger one, two, three, four, and five. And that would look to potentially look target this uh, 2734 to this five, uh, 2568 range. So th these options are all viable for as long as we maintain um, this 1611. If we break down below that, it would invalidate this extension and would be potentially a, a bearish sign. Could mean that actually coming down. Uh, basically, our last, last zone of defense here would be this 1560 to this 1447. That would be if we're looking for a direct push to the upside. Otherwise, we could have one of the other options that we discussed in the previous video going on. Um, so yeah, th this is what I'm currently looking at within within these moves. If we do maintain below these highs and we start to set lower highs here, you know, lower lows, potentially we could see this play out as an ABC down towards a 1700 area. And if that's the case, you know, then we could look for that push to the upside. If, however, we start to move down and we move beyond that 1639, Basically, we'd have to be monitoring this move and seeing whether this is, so this would need a fourth wave and a fifth wave to get a good five wave structure here. 
but if we do form a, a five wave move down here then it would be more likely that actually we have this as a potential flat correction here um, and we could actually look for those lower targets we discussed in the flat correction basically you know we need to hold this so that's why losing this 60 1655 makes starts to make this move less likely um, because then we start really getting close to this 1618 and then potentially that means we're going to come back down into this lower box area so that's what we're looking at within that you know it is possible like i said we could see a diagonal play out in here if that is the case you know what we could i still haven't also um it hasn't invalidated this either just because of the way the structure is forming i mean it, um, i am looking at it more like this is sort of the the less the less obvious um way of looking at it but i am still looking at that possibility that if we're looking at this in our primary count <clears throat> that we completed into here that we could actually still be within this b wave where we look to form this as potentially an a we could look at this move to the upside as a b wave and then look for the c wave to the downside because we're still sitting within that rejection zone um you know it, this is still possible and the way that i would be looking at it would be if i come in here for as long as we for like if we if we form a diagonal within here potentially we could still see this um this is why it's important to hold this 1447 range for as long as we actually uh, stay within this zone basically let me just remove some of these other ones and then there's that one yeah for as long as we remain um in this channel if we did actually form a diagonal here potentially we could just count this as a zigzag then um so the key zone i'll be looking out for if we do move up here is this 1895 and then that one to one would actually bring us up towards this um this 2095 range so you know keep an eye on this if we do move up here potentially we could see something like this play out where we actually move up towards a seven to it towards a 618 area of the c wave of sorry of this a wave which would satisfy the count technically speaking we've taken the a wave but i'd like to see if we're going to look at this as a c wave that moved towards this 1895 um, area it would depend on the structure we'd have to be careful that we don't have another one a two here and then we actually look to push up in a bigger five wave move something like this so this is something we need to be aware of if we just get um three wave structure developing within this then potentially this becomes a viable option. If we get a five-way move up, it would invalidate this um, invalidate this potential uh, of how we're looking at this possibility. So if we do get a three-way move up here, then that basically would, uh, would still allow us to look for that potential to actually come back down lower here for the C wave. And like I said, you know, this would be looking for this potential to actually come back down into this zone here, this 1368 to this 1192. So this is going to be a key zone if we do actually drop down. If we start to lose this 1192, the move starts to become uh, less likely for continuation to the upside. But um, yeah, for as long as we hold this low, we can still look for some bullish continuation here. I do have this channel on here, which is also an interesting little bit of an area to keep an eye on. Um, the thing is, looking at this if we wanted to argue that this could be an abc technically speaking we have come up to that 618 um 0.618 here so i am just being mindful that the problem is the c wave would be very disproportionate um to this as an a wave so that's why it's not my favorite interpretation of it um if we do if we do progress up and this move becomes a bigger structure then yeah that would that would fit it better but the fact of just moving um just moving up here in, in a five wave move like this would actually make it more likely to me that the other option is playing out where we're looking for this as a third wave in here this is a fourth and then potentially actually completing our fifth like we talked about in the previous video it's going to be important um what happens off the back of this move if we get a bigger three wave move to the downside then you know potentially we can argue that this has been this was our uh, this was our third this was our fourth this is our fifth and then actually we have this as a b wave and then basically what that would do is that would just shift this a wave over into this position um so yeah you know we need to see if we fail to hold this 1192 obviously then that bearish option comes into play 
um, where we could still be looking for those lower lows. But we need to actually get back down below some of these levels and break down through these channels and, uh, you know, lose some of these key zones of support that have been holding very strong um, up to now. So basically that is just being aware that we could still see that C wave play out. The, the other way that we were discussing this move, I uh, need to turn off prime maybe, yeah, is looking for that fact that we actually held the support zone here. You know, we could, we could be looking for, um, for the fact that actually we completed this move into this high and that the, our fifth wave was here where this becomes a one, two, three triangle for a four and a fifth wave up here. So this is still also a possibility within this structure. I'm going to just delete these. We don't need them anymore. Basically, you know, within this structure here, what we'd actually be looking for is that deeper retracement. And if we're looking for that potential to continue to the upside, you know, we'd want to find support in this zone here. Um, let me move this up here now. Into that high. In the zone of this 1587 to this 1458 range. Um, obviously an interesting zone here. If we did move down, would potentially be this um would be would be this channel line here. But uh, for the most part, within this structure, what we'd be looking for is that we've actually potentially completed into this high, in which case uh we'd be looking for that possibility of actually coming back down and retesting these lower levels again, this 1414 to this 1208. And they would be looking at this as a completed five wave move into this high, and then actually looking for that potential to come back down for that in a three wave move. Um, if we're looking for that continuation, however, if this move here is a C wave, then that would actually indicate that we're going to set a new low here. So we'd have to be careful. Um, that's why it's so important to see what happens from this point. You know, if we do continue to hold these key support zones, we can continue to remain bullish within this. Um, we did come right up to that zone. If we're looking at this as a as a fifth wave here, we did come right up to this zone of this um, 1844. Not quite, actually, just a couple of dollars before it. Uh, but that's a 0.618 of the wave one to three. So I am still going to keep an eye on this. You know, potentially, if we do start to break down here, uh, you know, we could actually look to find some kind of a support or a reaction off this fourth wave here. We maybe we form this as an ABC to the downside, or alternatively, if this starts to break down deeper here, you know, potentially this would be an early indication um, of that fact that we could actually be looking for those lower lows to come in. But yeah, we I mean we don't have that confirmation yet. Really, as long as we hold the support zone of this 1587 to this 15 uh, 1458 and maintain this low here, this 1367. We can look for that continuation um, directly up here. Alternatively, if we do actually break down, really only once we only once we break down past this 1208 region would I start to get um, too worried because we could just see X3 wave move into here, you know, and then look for continuation at a later date. Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to Discord. Come check it out. It is free to join. As well as that, you will find affiliate links for both PrimeXBT and Bybit down there. Both great exchanges that we use on a regular basis. Check them out if you haven't got an account already. Using the affiliate link does help support the channel and we do appreciate it. There are deposit bonuses. More information can be found down on their website through the links below. Okay, everyone have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.